You hear a lot about what Donald Trump eats, but what about the other Trumps? The first family is made up of a number of distinctive personalities, and each has their own way of approaching their diets. This is what Melania, Ivanka, Eric, Don Jr., Tiffany, and Jared Kushner really eat. It might come as little surprise to find that Melania and Donald don't share too many eating habits. Still, the contrast between their diets is stark. In a 2012 interview with Refinery29, Melania was asked about her daily food routine, and she said, Well, in the morning, every morning, I have a smoothie with a few ingredients and a lot of vitamins in it. It's very healthy, but today I had a bit of oatmeal and juice. Smoothie breakfasts with the occasional oatmeal treat is about as far as Melania could get from her husband's preferred way of starting the day. In fact, the president isn't a fan of breakfast at all and reportedly skips it completely on some days. If he does eat in the morning, it tends to be bacon and eggs, although he does have an affinity for egg McMuffins. Melania's break from her husband's food preferences doesn't end with breakfast, though. Even when it comes to snacking, the two are as different as apples and Oreos. In her 2012 Refinery29 interview, Melania said, It's not a diet. I just like to eat healthy because I feel better and have more energy. I don't have a particular snack I always eat. If I would snack, I would snack on maybe fruit or a little bit of chocolate, because I think your body needs that, too. In an interview with GQ, Melania revealed that she used to eat seven pieces of fruit a day while living in New York. Whether she keeps that number so high these days is anyone's guess. But it's a fair bet that she's doing better than her husband, who, according to Fox News, demands that Air Force One be kept regularly stocked with potato chips and cookies. Like many of the Trumps, Melania isn't exactly afraid to hit the town and dine out every now and again. In a 2010 interview with New York Magazine, she admitted that her all-time favorite New York meal was the chicken parm at Jean Georges. The restaurant, located inside the Trump International Hotel and Tower, is a French cuisine joint overlooking Central Park. Probably no surprise to see a Trump singing the praises of a Trump restaurant, though, is it? Although Ivanka may be all about healthy eating these days, that wasn't always the case. In fact, her diet once wasn't too different from her father's. According to an interview with Shape magazine, Ivanka said, I ate like a teenager, carbs three times a day, usually in the form of pasta or pizza. After becoming pregnant, however, everything changed. And now her diet is far healthier than it was before. Just ignore the whole juice cleansing phase, which she admitted did not go well. She explained, I tried a juice cleanse and it was a total disaster. For the eight hours that I lasted, I felt like I was on the brink of starvation. Some say Ivanka appears to be the Trump patriarch's favorite child. So the idea of her once eating just like her dear old dad doesn't exactly come as a shock. The difference is that she managed to quit. So how does Ivanka's diet look these days? In a word, better. According to AOL, she starts off her day with lemon and water, a cup of coffee, and follows that up with a family breakfast of cottage cheese or Greek yogurt with berries. Or if her kids are in the mood for something else, she'll join them for what she calls fancy oatmeal. Lunch and dinner tend to consist of protein-based foods such as salmon, chicken, or salad. One of Ivanka's favorite spots for a special treat meal is Frankie's Spuntino in New York. On top of all of this, Ivanka also regularly exercises. She runs and has been known to attend spin classes. She also meditates for 20 minutes twice a day. All in all, that's about as far from eating like a teenager as you can get, which is probably for the best. In 2018, Donald Trump Jr. visited Southern Louisiana to raise funds for the state attorney general, Jeff Landry. According to WWL, Don Jr. gave a speech in which he revealed his love for the state's culinary traditions, saying, It's just great to come back here because you guys do have the best food in the country. Many people would have to agree with Don Jr. The food of Louisiana is revered across America and includes such mainstay dishes as jambalaya, po'boys, and, of course, gumbo. Although some of their dishes may seem kind of alien if you're not familiar with the state's cooking scene, trust us, they're downright delicious. Not much else is known about Don Jr.'s actual eating habits, but he did at least make clear one thing he doesn't much care for in 2018 when he took to Instagram to make a bizarre and factually inaccurate attack on… vegetables? The bacon-filled meme was captioned, 
There hasn't been one single bacon recall in 2018, but there have been several vegetable recalls. Just saying. This was in reference to the recalls made by the FDA on a number of vegetable products in 2018, including several on romaine lettuce. But Don Jr.'s statement was basically entirely untrue. Numerous bacon products were recalled by the FDA in 2018, as Newsweek points out, while 30,000 pounds of sausage were recalled when it became clear that some products were at risk of containing metal fragments. We're getting the idea that Don Jr. probably isn't too bothered about fact-checking his jokey Instagram memes. Outside of his fancy business dinners, Eric Trump is apparently quite the accomplished cook. He was first inspired in the kitchen by his maternal grandmother, whose cooking was so good that the Trumps would crave her food for weeks after she left, according to the New York Daily News. Apparently, his time in the kitchen has paid off, and friends allegedly often ask that Eric cook for them rather than going out to dinner. He also used to cook for his roommates during his time at Georgetown University. The bulk of the food Eric cooks comes from the classic Slavic tradition and includes, in his words, the great Slavic meals, all laden with cream cheese and sour cream and heavy cream. Many of these dishes are a heart attack in a pot. Some of the dishes he might regularly make include borscht, which is a kind of beet soup, or breaded cauliflower, both of which were apparently specialties of his grandmother. Being Ivanka's husband, Jared Kushner probably keeps to many of the same eating habits as his wife, but he also has something of a background in cooking himself, believe it or not. A report by the Boston Globe about how Kushner… well, wasn't exactly popular with his Harvard classmates revealed that he was once made cooking editor of Harvard's current magazine. The magazine covered all kinds of things, including news and campus life, but for some reason, no clips of his work as cooking editor seem to have surfaced, and little is known about just what he did in his role as cooking editor. One Boston Globe reporter did, however, suggest that Kushner makes a mean chicken tetrazzini, a dish which he apparently made for guests at the university back in 2001. Perhaps the world is all the poorer for having lost out on the Jared Kushner who pursues a career in food journalism. From the looks of it, Jared's eating habits certainly aren't too far off from those of his wife. And that means keeping healthy. In fact, he keeps things so healthy that it's put him on the receiving end of mockery from both his colleagues and enemies. In the tell-all memoir Let Me Finish, former New Jersey Governor Chris Christie took aim at Kushner for his choice of diet. According to Christie, he had been at lunch with Kushner and Donald Trump in 2017, and Kushner was enjoying one of his, quote, typical salads at the time. Of course, it's worth mentioning that the two men aren't exactly on friendly terms. Christie was the one who prosecuted Kushner's father, Charles, on 18 counts of tax evasion, witness tampering, and making illegal campaign donations, putting him away for 14 months in 2005. The grudge continued for years afterwards, finally culminating with the attack made by Christie towards Kushner's love of salads in his book, Heavy Stuff. Tiffany Trump may not exactly be at the forefront of the family's public dealings, but she is a Trump nonetheless. So let's dig in. Tiffany made headlines in June 2018 when, in the midst of her father's handling of the border crisis, she and her mother Marla Maples enjoyed a lunch of Mexican food in Midtown New York. According to the New York Daily News, Tiffany, who was surrounded by the Secret Service, ordered the vegan Impossible Taco dish, followed by a cake dessert. Apparently, the other patrons of Taco Dumbo seemed basically okay with these two Trumps making a visit to their establishment, an increasingly rare occurrence in some parts of the U.S. West, where Republicans are routinely chased out of restaurants due to their ties to the Trump administration. Many by now have heard that I was asked to leave a restaurant this weekend where I attempted to have dinner with my family. Then again, maybe it's just that nobody in the taco joint realized who they were. Taking her Instagram at face value, it seems that Tiffany is quite the fan of desserts, too, with some of her favorite sweet dishes appearing to include creme brulee and cakes. No surprise here, of course. After all, her father is renowned for his love of all things sugary. Who else could come out of a summit with China's President Xi and only be able to talk about the chocolate cake they ate? We're now having dessert. And we had the most beautiful piece of chocolate cake that you've ever seen. And President Xi was enjoying it. Or who else, according to Time magazine, insists on getting two scoops of ice cream with his chocolate cream pie at the White House, while everyone else gets one? Other favorite dishes for Tiffany include caviar and sushi, as well as all sorts of Indian food, according to the Washington Post. If nothing else, this would imply a desire for variation in the food she eats. Just like anyone else, really. 
Being as busy as Melania supposedly is, it can be understandably hard to find a moment to prepare a proper home-cooked meal. Considering who her husband is, it'd probably be equally difficult for him to sit down and eat it. When pushed on the topic, however, Melania has revealed what the family's meal of choice might be should any future sit-downs occur. At a 2019 town hall in Las Vegas, Melania gave us some insight into what her daily routine looks like. When asked what she'd cook for herself and the president if she had anything at her disposal, she pointed out that she hasn't actually done that yet, since she hasn't had time. But if the family had to choose one meal as a group, she suggested, after a lengthy silence, Casserole? Uh, McDonald's? Someone said McDonald's, <laughs> McDonald's. Um, maybe spaghetti. Still, it's probably safe to assume she won't be making a big spaghetti dinner for the whole family anytime soon. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Mashed videos about your favorite stuff are coming soon! Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one!